Welcome to the Magical Fraction Forest. Today we are going to learn how to represent fractions using various models such as number lines, strip diagrams, and fraction circles. Let's get started. Yesterday, I mined crystals for one-fourth of the day. I want to create a model to show one-fourth. Let's start with a fraction circle. We need to cut the circle into four pieces to show fourths. If we want to show one-fourth, we fill in one of the pieces. Now our model represents one-fourth. After I mined crystals, I had to clean them. I spent six-eighths of an hour cleaning crystals, which felt like a very long time. Let's make a model to show six-eighths. Here is a strip diagram cut into eight pieces to represent eighths. Our fraction is six-eighths, so I will color in six of the pieces. Tomorrow I will spend two-thirds of the day selling the crystals to make money for our fraction forest. Let's show two-thirds on a number line model. Here is our number line, and we can cut it into three pieces to represent thirds. To show two-thirds, we need to move two tick marks down the number line. One, two. Here is two-thirds of the number line. Thank you for visiting the Fraction Forest and learning more about fraction models with me today. Remember to always cut your model into the number of pieces you have in total to represent the denominator, and then shade in the number of pieces you are using to represent the numerator. Good luck!